Hello there and welcome to another day of being in the flat. I've currently just got back from going for a miniature walk with my foster mum but of course we stuck to the rules and we were keeping distance so I'm just about to get rid of one jigsaw that I've finished and then I'm going to start a new one so I'm going to try and do some clips of that. Obviously I'm not going to film the whole thing because it's going to take me a while to make it but I thought I would show you the one I've currently just finished and then I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to start so here goes. So this is the jigsaw that I've finished. It's Raven's Burgers, 500 pieces. It's basically a load of horse faces and that's the actual jigsaw completely finished. And then the jigsaw I'm moving on to is actually over here. Um, the jigsaw that I'm gonna be moving on to now is actually Tiger's. So this was from the works by the looks of it. Can't remember exactly how long ago I bought this, but this is my Tiger jigsaw that I'm gonna do next. So I'm gonna move one away and we'll continue starting this one. Okay, so, annoyingly, I cannot currently find this piece, but I have actually done the majority of the border, so I'm going to try and fill in some of the middle, and then hopefully I'll find this edge piece when I've actually done the border, and, you know, filled in some of the inside. So that's just the edges for now, but I thought I'd show you that part of the progress. Okay, so this is my first stage. I'm going to take a mini breather, but I feel like I've done pretty well. I managed to find this edge piece as well, which was really good. But I thought I'd show you a quick bit of progress after a small amount of time. Okay, so from doing the jigsaw, which I've actually put to one side for now, it's just down there. I'm actually just going to sit here and plan some YouTube content. So I have basically my trusty YouTube book. Let me see if I can do this one handed. So I basically have one notebook that I actually sort of pre-plan in and then I actually have one official YouTube book that I basically write everything in. So it's just a standard little notebook. It's just a standard A5. Sorry, I had to think about that. And then I basically have a page of ideas and every so often I will try and go through those ideas and implement them into videos. So I'm going to sit here and plan a few of my April videos because I've currently done all of March as you're watching this and I'm working on April next. So hopefully there'll be some interesting ones on the way. There won't be any hauls per se from what basically is happening in the UK at the moment. Um, so I'll try and do my best to make as many good videos as possible just with the things around my flat and also with doing some extra vlogs like you've seen already. So hopefully you'll enjoy that and fingers crossed we'll be out of this soon. So thank you very much and see you soon. It's time to put my lunch in the oven. Smiley's and Chicken Kiev. See you in 25. Just because I've decided it's time to do some washing, I'm going to try and show you a typical laundry routine for me within this vlog itself. So, I normally, can I do this one handed? Yeah. I use the Lenore Unstoppables. I've actually taken the um, surrounding wrap off there. So what I normally do is throw them in the bottom like that, like you're supposed to. I'm just trying to put the lid back on. Okay, and then what I do is I throw my laundry in the machine so all that can go in, all that can go in, all that can go in, and all that can go in. It's all falling out again. There we go. So all that's in the machine. I then will go up here and we will grab a dirt collector. So that goes in on the top, in case there's anything massively dirty in there. So that goes in on the top, close it up, and then I have some laundry detergent over here. I'll just open that up. So I have my laundry detergent that I use. This is Asda's, um, what's this one called? What's the official name? Let's have a look. This is Asda's colour liquid, so that goes in the drawer down there. Um, with this particular wash, I'm going to put it on a 12, which is basically my long wash for eco-cycling and cottons. And then in here, I have my fabric conditioner. And I also need my Calgon, because washing machines would longer with Calgon. So yes, I use some of that in my actual wash. I'm trying to work out where I'm going to put your camera, but I'm going to try and have to hold you for now. So what I do is I put a tiny bit of this in. 
Let's see if I can smooth these swap hands. There we go. Problem solved. Um, because I'm trying to be sparing with it, I'm only putting half a capful in. It does say to put a whole cap, but to be honest, it seems to work because my washing machine still works. So, sorry about the positioning there. I needed to... Okay, now let's hope this doesn't fall over. A bit of fabric conditioner in the fabric conditioner bit. I don't always put a massive cap in. I usually leave a little bit out. And then we basically start it off and say, you can begin.